We'll guide you through how to connect a game controller to your PC or laptop. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So the easiest way to go and connect your game controller, whether it be a Xbox, a Nintendo Switch Pro controller, or a PlayStation controller, is by using a wire. However, you can go and use them wirelessly as well. That will go and require Bluetooth though, so therefore your computer will need to have it as well. It is important to note though that pretty much all recent Xbox controllers do have Bluetooth so they can be used wirelessly apart from the original Xbox One controller for the original Xbox One. That does not have Bluetooth so if you wish to use it wirelessly you'll need to go and get a dongle. But PlayStation 4 and 5 controllers can be used wirelessly and wired and you can go and use the Nintendo Switch Pro controller wired or wirelessly as well. So when it comes to actually go and connect them using Bluetooth, we'll start off with that and then we'll move on to the wired method, that's really simple. So click on the Windows Start button and open up your settings, head over to the left and click on Bluetooth and then go and click on Devices and click on Add Device. Then go and click on Bluetooth and what you then need to do is put your controller into a pairing mode. Each controller, each control... Each controller will be slightly different for how you can go and put it into pairing mode, but it's pretty easy to go and find online and you can then go and connect it if you've got Bluetooth. On the Switch Pro controller, you just need to go on top of it and then the here is the pair or sync button. And all you need to do is go and hold onto the button for a couple of seconds and then it should go and start flashing like so and it's now in pairing mode and it should then appear on the computer. Alternatively, the easier way to go and connect it is by using a wire. So ideally go and use the wire the controller came with because this will be like a proper official cable. Sometimes the third party cables are just for charging it and they aren't really for like data transfer and it won't work. So that's why it's best to use an official one um, because that will actually go and work and allow you to connect it to your computer as a controller and not just to go and charge it. Then we can go and plug this into our computer. I've now gone and connected my controller. So if you're using an Xbox controller, they will work natively in Windows because of course it's by Microsoft. But if you're using a Switch Pro controller or a PlayStation controller, then you're going to need a program to, to go and get them to function as a proper controller. So all you need to do is go and open up a web browser. And what we're going to use is an application called DS4 Windows. There's a few applications out there like it. So go and click on it. It does mainly say for PlayStation controllers, but it will work with Switch Pro as well. Go and click on download, press download again and it will then go and download a zip file. Open your file explorer and go to your downloads and here is a zip file. Right click on it and go and click on extract and then it will, we can go and extract it just like this. And then what you want to do is go into it and you need to find the ds4windows.exe, double click on it and then you may need to go and install um, some sort of drivers but it will guide you through it. Then press on program folder and you need to then go and choose the devices which you wish to go and use. So make sure you select them. So DS4, and this is for DualShock 4 PS4 controllers. Then you've got DualSense, which is for PlayStation 5 controllers. You get the idea. Um, so I'm using a Switch Pro, so I'll make sure that's selected. And we've got some others we can select here as well. Then press close, and it should then go and open up, just like this. And it should then go and find the controller you've got connected. You can go and click on start as well, just in the bottom right. And that's it. It's now running and you should now be able to go and use your PlayStation controller or your Switch Pro controller um, fully functionally. And it should work as a controller in your games.